What's up YouTube, it's Ghostwriter15 here back at it again with another Edison format video. And today I just finished getting top 4 at the recent Deck Devastators tournament. And of course I'm playing Dragon Turbo, my signature deck that I've been playing for a long time now. Um, I've made a couple of changes to the list from my RBET winning list. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm playing the three Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, which of course you have to play, no questions asked. Uh, the three Blue Eyes, only the three Blue Eyes, I don't think you need any other level eight in the deck. Like, you're just adding more bricks. Like, sure, you can discard it with Trade In, you can discard it with uh, Cards of Consonant, or not Cards of Consonants, uh, Magical Stone Excavation, or you can discard it with Card Destruction, but. Without those cards, it's a brick. And this one is at least searchable, so this is the one that you have to play. The three white stones, obviously your best uh, cards of consonants target. This card does a lot. You have to play three. Um, the three debris dragon, this is also a staple. This is the easiest way to OTK. Uh, it has multiple uses. You can use it to go into Brionic. You can use it to make black rose to nuke the board. Uh, you can also use it as a cards of consonants target and against floodgate monsters What's really underrated about the Bruce dragon is that it has 2k defense so that That's really powerful for you to be able to stall against that deck or against that floodgate and then I'm playing the one flamvel guard the flamvel guard It's really good like you can choose to play prime material instead of the flamvel guard But I prefer the flamvel guard because it adds more consistency like, I know the, the Prime Material has a higher ceiling, but I just prefer consistency. When you're playing a tournament that has over 10 rounds, I think consistency is the most important thing. And then the one, Quacky Mirror Drago. This card's good, but it breaks sometimes, unfortunately, because it doesn't really have much use besides going for the OTK or preventing your opponent from special summoning light or darks, but you still have to play it. It's the card that guarantees your OTK is going to go through. So one copy in the main is fine. The one Vortex or the one card trooper. I decided to cut Vortex Trooper for card trooper because I just wanted something that lets me run over Ryko. And during testing, there were a lot of times where I was able to mill Whitestone and I was able to get a plus one from that and... I really like that, and it's also really good against anyone pre-siding main deck Thunder King, so the card trooper was pretty good. And then, of course, the one Trigodia in the main, because it's Trigodia. It's a really good card that you have to play. When you're low on resources and you activate a Super Rejuvenation for like 5 or 6, and you draw into this, now you, you don't have to worry. Unless your life points are extremely low... Uh, but besides that, this card just lets you get... It guarantees that you're going to survive the turn and lets you play for the next one. So for the spells, of course, three upstart. I've messed around with no upstarts, and I feel that you have to play three. Three is a mandatory thing, in my opinion. Like, Yeah, I know there's some times where you can go for lethal if they're at 8k, but the consistency is just too important. Like... In this type of deck, especially in this type of deck, where consistency is something that you have to maximize, I think Upstart's a staple. And then the three trade-ins, obviously staple. Three cards of consonants, staple. Three super reju, staple. All these cards are basically staples that you should be playing no matter what. Two magical stones, staple. Two instant fusion. I know some players like to play one, and um, I think two is better, just because it's a really good card going first. You can go into Brionic right away and set yourself up for a super rejuve play. It's also what lets you go into cards like Goyo Guardian. Uh, it's also good for Dark Fire. Um, so yeah, I like the two. Then these are pretty much staples. One Future Fusion, one Card Destruction, one Heavy Storm, 
And I decided to add back Giant Trune to the main deck because I did like being able to OTK without having to worry about any back row. And I'm not always winning the dice rolls, so it's very important for me to clear the back row so I can resolve something like Future Fusion and be able to win. So I put it back in the main. Then the one Avarice, you only need one in my opinion. Sure, there are a couple there are a couple of times when you have the Avarice all the way at the bottom of your deck, and unfortunately it goes that way, but it's still better than breaking on two Avarice in the early game because you really don't need an Avarice right away. You usually resolve it like mid to late game. The only time you really resolve it early game is if you drew the nuts, like if you drew Future Fusion or Card Destruction, but if, you, if you're drawing those cards, then you should already be winning anyway. So I think just one Avarice is fine. And then the last three cards are the three Reckless Greeds. Of course, I think this card is amazing. It's what lets you draw into your entire deck faster. It's super consistent. It adds what exactly what the deck needs. More draw power so you can consistently get into your super rejuvenation combo. So that's it for the main. For the side deck, uh, one Quacky Mirror Drago, uh, one Prime Material. So I'm not maining it. I'm not maining the Prime, but I think you still have to side it. There are some matchups where a Prime Material is better than the Quacky Mirror Drago. The most common example would be Hero Beat because of Raiko and Absolute Zero and Gem Spark. And then I decided to side the one Vortex Trooper. This is good when you're going first, so I just wanted to guarantee that I don't open a hand where I can't really do anything or I can't play. So I just wanted to add more cards that allow me to do something turn one. And then the two the two Lightning Vortex, this is a staple. I... Bumped it down from 3 to 2 because I wanted space for a couple of other cards in the side and it was fine. I didn't really miss the third one too much. Then the 3 Mask of Restrict for Frogs. I I know that Frogs is a pretty easy matchup for this deck, but I just wanted something that almost guarantees the matchup to be easy. So I really like the 3 Mask of Restricts. Then the two decrees, this card is amazing against decks that play a lot of traps. And it pretty much guarantees that uh, you don't have to worry about anything that's going to stop you. Two trap stuns, just because I was afraid of... I was afraid of playing against that macro stun deck that's been getting some popularity recently. And that deck can be a big problem if I can't answer macro cosmos and all of that other back row that they're playing so along with the royal decrees the trap stuns would come in handy against that matchup so i didn't actually play against it in the tournament but it was there just in case and then one mirror force and one torrental tribute i'm testing these out in testing they were pretty good especially if the opponent isn't expecting them like most players, they they just go all out against me because they don't think I'm playing real traps. But game two and three, I can side into this and they just get blown out, which happened a few times in the tournament. And then speaking of cards that players don't expect, I decided to play the Gores in the side deck just because everyone knows my... RBT list by now and they know that I don't play gores so for this tournament I decided to side deck the gores because everyone just goes all out and they don't worry about gores because they don't they didn't see gores in my old list but I caught some players by surprise today and I was able to summon gores on them so for the extra deck uh, it's pretty much the same as my RBT list but just one card different. The Armory Arm, the Cataster, the Goyo, the Brio, the Iron Chain, Black Rose, Ancient Fairy, Stardust, 
And then the one change is the Dark End Dragon. Just because I'm playing Gores. It actually never came up in the tournament, but I still think that you have to play it if you're playing Gores. And the Trident Dragon, that's it for the Synchros. For the Fusions, I have the Dragoness of the Wicked. Just one Dark Fire Dragon. This is what I I decided to cut one of them for to make space for the Dark the Dark End Dragon. And it was okay. I didn't really miss the second copy too much. Then the Elemental Hero Mariner, the Ojama Knight, and the Five-Headed Dragon. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I made top four. Uh, almost ended up going back-to-back -back wins. Unfortunately, I ended up making a misplay that cost me the game. I might go over that in... A future video explaining my replays and more in depth um but yeah that's pretty much all i have for today thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe this is ghostwriter15 signing out